just going to continue. Um, I think it's a very, very special evening this evening. Um, my first conversation with Geraldine, that um, I know it's my first conversation because I sent her a Facebook message after we'd been speaking, it was on Sunday, the 16th of October, it's only two months ago. And I realised that evening that here was a young lady who had a very sincere and a very genuine desire for God, who was really seeking to know the truth. And in that short time, just two months, um, Geraldine has been to the Friday evening Bible studies, the Sunday afternoon Bible studies, whenever she can get off of the very, very busy work schedule as, as an old pair, the Sunday international service. And the clear evidence of a spiritual awakening in her heart and the response to that has been plain for many of us to see. And after uh, last Sunday's international service, I, I thought it was time that I had a, a little chat with Geraldine again because I like to leave people. If I know someone's called of God, I don't need to do anything. I just give them the right books, uh, try to give them the right teaching, and, and, and just know that God is going to, 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 to bring that person to a wonderful uh, experience of salvation. But I thought it was time that we had a, a, a talk and I just said to Geraldine that I really believed that she was already a Christian, that she'd been born again. And, um, and uh, we confirmed that together. And um, in a little while, Geraldine is going to um, give her testimony. But before that, I want to um, I want to pray for her because I think it's good to I think it's good to um, you know to mark salvation. This is the you know her salvation was the, the greatest day of her life. It is the day that has transformed her whole future because Jonah will be spending eternity with us with God in heaven, and it's it's worth marking it even though uh, it's already happened. So. Um, I'm going to ask Geraldine to come forward. I'm going to ask uh, Geraldine just four simple questions. Geraldine, do you confess that you are a sinner in need of God's forgiveness? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and the only way of salvation? Yes. Do you believe that he died on the cross and on the third day he rose from the dead for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Geraldine, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour? And will you love him and serve him for the rest of your life? Yes. Thank you. A loving Heavenly Father, our hearts are so grateful, so full of joy, so full of wonder. There were many, many great miracles, Lord. And you did great miracles when you were here. But there's no greater miracle than the miracle of the new birth. The miracle of salvation. And Father, I thank you for Geraldine. I thank you for the holy calling that you had upon her life, Lord. I thank you for the way that you brought her, Lord. You protected her, you kept her from, from evil and you kept her from harm, Lord. And you brought her until the day, Lord, was revealed to her. That, Lord, you are the Son of God, you are God the Son, and you are her Saviour and her Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit, Lord, that, that you placed in her heart, Lord, so that she was able, Lord, to, to see the truth, to have her eyes open, and, Lord, to believe in you. And that is a miracle, Lord, and we just thank you for that. I thank you for the wonderful life, Lord, that you have for Geraldine, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for the life that lies ahead, Lord. She is a young woman, Lord, and has many, many days to serve you, to love you, to be with you, and to receive from you, Lord, every spiritual blessing, every gift that you have for her. I thank you, Lord, for her humility. I thank you, Lord, for the way, Lord, that um, there is no boasting, and there is no pride, Lord, and 
I thank you for that wonderful humility that you have given to her. I thank you, Lord, that you have created her personality as you have created her character. I thank you, Lord, that you've created this, this shyness, Lord, but also a great boldness. And I thank you, Lord, that you're going to use her in a wonderful way. We pray for her family, Lord, and pray that through Geraldine's confession and through, Lord, her testimony, that her whole family will come to know you as Lord and Saviour, at least those, Lord, that are still in need. So we thank you for her, Lord. We thank you for the way that you have brought her. Thank you for the way you brought her to TIC and for the privilege that, Lord, we have had in, in being a channel, maybe some little uh, channel, Lord, that has led to her salvation. But we know, Lord, that she is saved through grace, through faith in Jesus Christ. And, Lord, none of our works, none of our efforts, neither pastor or anyone, Lord, can take away that this is a sovereign work from you. So, Lord, we just thank you. And we, we just bless Geraldine now, Lord, and we just ask, Lord, for your continued blessing upon her life. I pray for an anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray, Lord, that you give her great wisdom and great knowledge and great understanding, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that she will just grow from... Uh, from, from day to day, Lord, that you will grow in grace upon grace upon grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, that she is a child of God and that, Lord, she is completely and absolutely forgiven of every sin she's ever committed. And now, Lord, her life is under your blood, it's under your grace, it's under your mercy, and it's under your love. And I thank you, Lord, that all of us here in TIC, that we will spend eternity together with Geraldine. And we just thank you, Lord, that this is not just a lifelong friendship, that this is an eternal, lifelong friendship with TIC. And we just praise you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Um, before I came to TIC, um, when I was young, um, like, um, I saw one, um, I saw a movie, um, Regarding Jesus Christ, he was crucified, and I saw like the, there was um, they were making uh, gold idols and just God. That's all I remember since when I was a kid. It's still in my mind that um, God was so angry. And when I'm growing up, I started to um, get confused because everyone around me believes in a lot of idols. So I started seeking if which one shall I believe to whom do I believe uh, to to whom I pray, and it's it's very difficult because all all, all the people around me be, they pray in different different idols, and myself I just in in my heart I just felt like I just believe in Jesus Christ since the day that I saw that movie and yeah and even though my family my friends they 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 believe in a lot of idols I just stick to God and I just pray to him only and I'm so I'm I'm blessed that since like I feel like since that day uh, Jesus Christ Lord is calling me and when I came to TIC, at first, my first day, I just came and go, and I didn't have any conversation to anyone. And then the second day, I I talked to Auntie Joyce, and she asked me like if it's my first time, what's my name, and then um, I told her that I'm seeking because I don't know what is the truth, and. And then she told uh, Pastor Rob about that, and Pastor Rob was so happy and uh, talking to talk to me about the the truth about the Bible and everything. And and I after that I started to ask God if like I we we used to ask for a sign, and I told God okay just give me a sign. And then after that okay maybe it's not the time to ask for a sign. Maybe it's time to decide. Because it's not like, okay, uh, Lord, just 
give me a good husband. Uh, okay, if he will uh, wear red to the, tomorrow, maybe he's the one. It's not <laughs> like that. You have to decide, or you have to go out to find out the sign mm -hmm. and decide. So I decided, okay, I will go again in TIC. And then everyone is so friendly and they are just, it's just nice to be with the people who believe in the same belief. Mm -hmm. And after that, I always try to, it, I, it's like when I'm going to church, I always want to feel, like you always want, oh, I feel good when I went to church. And when I started to know about the Bible, it's not about that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's about um, giving, like knowing God more and it's pleasing Him. You don't, you don't go to church to, like, you, I don't go to, before I used to go to church to feel good. And now I just go to church and I go to Bible study as much as, I, as my schedule can because it's for Him. And I feel like that's, that's the best way for, that's the only thing I can do to please Him because, and to follow the things, the things in the scriptures like uh, to be kind to be to kind to everyone like that's one thing and and I will continue to 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 learn to know to know more about um, the Bible and I will not get tired because God never get tired to us so yeah I hope that um, I can spend more time here and I'm so blessed that um, um, Jesus Christ, God, uh, but, um, bring me here because it's been it's been how many years I asked mm. God to bring me into the right place to praise Him because there's a lot of place, you know. But I always pray for, to Him that uh, give me the right place. And when I came here, and it's just okay, and I started coming here, and I don't want to go. <laughs> Yeah, and so that's all. I'm so blessed because Pastor Rob is always here to guide us and you know teach us and make us understand. Because it's like it's not enough just to read it. Because we will maybe we will just give our own understanding. It's always nice to like there's someone who can explain. Them. Thank you so much, Pastor Rob.